This is Carlos Abdu calling from the Brooklyn Book Festival 2014. I'm here and I'm very fascinated by this magazine right over here. It's called Carrier Pigeon. Well, but it's not about the Carrier Pigeon, no. It's just the name of the magazine. <laughs> but imagine if you have a magazine, but it reinvents itself every issue down to the covers or the very fundamental way it reads. I'm here with the Ben Schaefer. Ben Schaefer. And uh, what is your position in Carrier Pigeon? Uh, I'm one of the founders of the magazine and uh, also content editor. So what inspired you to create a magazine that reinvents itself with every issue? Because each one has a, a different gimmick in its cover. Not just a different cover, but a different way of opening it. I mean, you have a... Holy crap, is this levitating? Yeah, well, this is a, it's our, this is our uh, magnetic <laughs> sculpture art here. Yeah, so if you hold that, yeah, I just put the magnet to it, like that. So what you're looking at with this is, with every issue, we let one of our artists do something different, something handmade. So that's by an artist named Adam Lister. And uh, the reason why we decided to, the reason why we decided to do something that's always changing is we wanted to give everyone involved um, creative freedom as much as possible. So we always bring in a new graphic designer and we basically say, all right, you're from the design world, you work commercially, you're always told what to do, well here's your chance to take all those great creative ideas and actually just play with it. Um, go nuts. Just go nuts. We're like, just go nuts, do whatever you feel as a creative artist works best for what we're trying to do. But how do you balance that uh, unbridled creativity with a more realistic expectation of bringing out a new issue every month, bi-monthly? Um, well, we we all <laughs> we all basically uh, just work our tails off. Uh, we do a lot of flea markets, and um, we have a large group of volunteers, and everyone just helps out to get the funds and finances that's needed. And I think that everyone that comes in. Uh, artist wise and the designers and the writers they know what they're getting into and they understand that we're not daddy warbucks we don't have billions of dollars but we give them the opportunity um, to work within reason um, and we've never had any situations where we have to say oh that's too expensive because everyone I think under everybody understands what they're getting into well I noticed that uh, a lot of your work here is uh, like ink, ink, ink press like uh, etchings and stuff like that. Uh, uh, how, uh, who did all of this work? I'm just curious. Especially, El Pollo Mercenario. The uh, yeah, the uh, what we call the chicken with the gun is kind of our big mascot here. It's done by an artist named Justin Sands, and he actually it's part of a bigger piece that he did for factory farming. And um, it originally started off as a uh, mono print in our third issue one of our end pages and we loved it so much that he ended up making a woodcut out of it that we put on the cover of our six issue and ever since then he lets us use the design and we print the t-shirts we make silk screen prints out of it um, which is one of the great parts and part of the reason why the magazines continues is because of the amazing artists that we have as collaborators really care about us they want to see us succeed so they donate prints to us they donate their designs to us yeah are these the originals they're, yeah, they're all original etchings or mono prints, letterpress prints, um, and uh, yeah, they just they they just give it to us and they say you know sell it and everything that we get just goes right into the printing cost of new issues. Have you decided? Uh, well, this is the newest issue right over here, right? Yeah. So yeah, right here is the the newest issue we have available today. We actually just got our shipment of our twelfth issue, so this is the eleventh issue right here. And the 12th issue just came in, so we're putting them together, and they should start going out next week, actually. And what's cool about this issue is we silk screen the bags, so they all say three, which is for the third issue in the third volume. Ah. And in the back, so the artist that was chosen, his name's Christopher, his name's Christopher Fridden, and he created this little artist mini chat book. It's all hand letter-pressed oh. here. And it's all signed in addition on the back. A very beautiful quality paper. And uh, the artist worked with the designer. That's the only real collaboration at the end of the day, is uh -huh. that the artist and the designer got together, and the artist said, I'm going to do this little guy. Uh -huh. 
So the designer said, how do I make that little guy work with this? So they created a die, there's two die cut, two die cut slits in the back. So the chat book literally just slips right in. Wow, it's amazing. Have you already started on, uh, what's the next theme going on next? The, for next issue? Well, we don't, since we don't work with any themes, everything that we put in the magazine is uh, crosses different genres and styles. We try to make it uh, a very varied uh, mixed bag of stuff. So that way, whoever you are, you're going to pick it up, find something you like, and then also get exposed to things that maybe you would normally not go to look at. And where can we find Carrier Pigeons? Uh, well, we're all over stores in New York City, some spread out throughout the country. Um, but if you go to our website, CarrierPigeonMag.com, then you could find out what stores to get us at. You can order back issues, t-shirts from our online store as well. And uh, also our Facebook page, Carrier Pigeon Illustrated Fiction Fine Art. Uh, quick note. Yeah, I noticed you have a submission form for writers and or artists. Uh, can they be also submitted to your online? Uh, yeah, our online uh, has a submission link that will give you the guidelines for the writers. Um, so basically, uh, if you want to submit, you just go to submission. You just send your work to submissions at carrierpigeonmag.com. And if you're a artist, then what we ask for is links to your portfolio or JPEGs of your portfolio and images. So if you're an artist or a writer, perhaps you can be in the next issue of Carrier Pigeon. This is Carlos Abdu, signing off.